the Montebello bomb and all the equipment for this experiment were made in British workshops by British workmen. Accurate to one ten thousandth of an inch. That was the precision demanded and achieved, both for the bomb and for the instruments to measure its performance. At Fort Halstead, they made two high-speed cameras, taking pictures at the rate of 100,000 in one second. With these cameras, the scientists could reconstruct the pattern of the explosion in the first revealing fraction of a second. In concept and design, this camera was entirely British, and design became reality in the hands of fine craftsmen. At every stage, check and double check. Instruments too for testing the impact of the explosion, for measuring heat, blast and radiation, for gauging the instant shaft of gamma ray and the lingering poison of radioactivity. All these designed and produced at Halstead, Howell, and other atomic energy establishments. This electronic equipment will carry the circuit to actuate the firing mechanism in the bomb itself. Here, the designer's demands reach the peak of precision, an accuracy of one millionth of a second. Nothing was left to chance. How the bomb would perform when the testing time came. Many minds and many hands were turned to the atomic weapon. But only half a dozen knew the whole secret of the bomb's design. They knew they were making a weapon of awe-inspiring power. But they would never see the finished product. Never even know, perhaps, the ultimate function of the parts they handled with such care. Inside headquarters, the rest of the control party are waiting at their instruments. In the half-light of the control room, the safety link is delivered to the controller. The final process of firing can now be set in train. Time bracket open. Fox George, this is how one. Pass your message, over. Hello, how one, this is Fox George. Phase Saturn completed. Over. Understand. Phase Saturn completed. Out. Right. You can put the safety key in now. Safety link in. Circuit complete. Can we have the all ready signals, please? Mr. Abercrombie, please. Thank you. Minus eight and a half minutes. Minus seven minutes.
power. above Montebello marks the achievement of science and industry in the development of atomic power. Good or evil, for peace or war, for progress or destruction. And the answer doesn't lie with Britain alone. But we may have a greater voice in this great decision if we have the strength to defend ourselves and to deter aggression. That was the meaning of Montebello. <laughs> 